Hey, all right, we all need to get this episode done. Are you finished? Are you finished? What about you? What are you even doing? Doodles? All right. May I get water? Water? You're asking me to get water. Where is your episode done? It's almost done. Get out of here. Hurry back. I can't wait to get out of this school, man. Bro! Chillax, dude. Dude, who are you? Who am I? Who are you? Bro, what? I'm Steve. Cool, Steve. I think you need some help. No, I don't need any help. I need to finish this last episode. Shh. Hey, relax, dude. Let me show you the way. You're perfect, dude. How do you feel, dude? I feel... The Pythagorean Theorem is going to be very important to all of your lives in the future. You don't even realize this yet. Gerby? You came back to my room for... For what? Where have you been? Why are you giving me attitude? You know what, Mr. C? What? I'm done. Get back here! Whoa, dude. It's summer, dude. Whoa, look at me! It's summer, let's get the party started! <laughs> Woo! Hey Bulldogs, welcome back to Junior Takeover. I'm your anchor, Amna. And I'm your anchor, Abby. Hey Abby, I think this is our last episode of the year. Is it really? What month is it? It's June. You know what that means? It's, it's summertime. summertime! But guess what, Amna? What is it, Abby? Even though it is our last episode of the year, we get to take over Send TV next year. That's right. We're going to be seniors. Time flies by, doesn't it? That, it does. Time flies when you're having fun, which is why we'd love to talk to you about, us, about SEND's amazing International Fest. On Wednesday, June 1st, SEND held their 50th International Fest that takes place every year right in our auditorium. The fest took place with performances including singing, dancing, and even an amazing instrumental performance. The fest really helped show off SEND's diverse community countries that were showcased within the event. Nigeria, Ethiopia, Vietnam, Mexico, and more. SEND's International Fest means a great deal to the SEND community, and we'd love for you to check out our awesome students and their performances. Roll the clip. SEND High School held its 50th annual International Fest on June 1st in the auditorium, where some of our students came out to wow us with singing, dancing, and other beautiful cultural performances. Beyond the amazing showcases, this fest marked an important anniversary and allowed our students to demonstrate the talent that spans across the cultural groups here at SEND. Let's check it out.
Loretta Corona reporting for Sun TV, and here I am with Faith Tanya Lafalodio <laughs> and Alexis Verlinger. How did you guys feel about performing today? Um, I felt really great. I like you see my outfit. I really wanted to show people my outfit. I really wanted to go out there and show people my culture. It was really nice today, and I would love to do it. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing it at 6 p.m. today. Pretty much the same. Um, it was really fun. A little bit nerve-wracking to see that many people watching you, but overall, it was really fun, and everyone was supportive and caring. So yeah. your performance how did you feel about it it went smooth uh i messed up a little bit but really confident i'll just say it about that yeah how how are you feeling after performing um i'm feeling okay it was kind of like nervous like I don't know, but I'm feeling good now. Um, what were your expectations for today? Um, very different than what happened, but at least like I got to be on stage and like have fun and whatever I did. Um, and we practiced a lot since uh, I believe September or October, and we did a lot of like you know dances. We did the rehearsals so many times. Sometimes it was like really difficult to you know do the choreography, but then we fully understand it, and we're just doing it by you know doing like communication, like talking to each other all the time, like teaching other people like the dance step so we can like do it ready and then for the dress rehearsal it was pretty good because some people they came to see us and for a lot of people watching us um <laughs> uh, i would probably say it was really fun though it was really fun name and grade level uh, my name is ukama bongo bidiegu i'm a 11th grade and i'm a junior so <laughs> spell it spell my name yeah okay U K E M E O B O N G O B I D I E G W U. And that was Sen's 50th annual International Fest. For Sen TV, Musi Rory reporting. Hey, weren't you in the International Fest? Yeah, I was. You did an amazing job. Those performances were incredible. Thank you, and I agree. Speaking of incredible, Sen Arts hosted another annual Word on the Street event. Sen's 2022 Word on the Street showcase consisted of different types of art such as dance, theater, and visual art. Let's take a look at what went down. Word on the Street took place on Thursday, May 26th, and highlighted some of the best efforts from all of Sen's art students this year. Meant to celebrate the students in Sen Arts, so the whole showcase included performances from visual arts students, music students, theater students, and dance students. The showcase opened with a display of visual art and included pieces from all types of media. So let's take a look at what all was created this year. And I'm really excited um, for tonight, uh, Word on the Street. We're having the um, visual art showcase right now and it's crowded with lots of people and um, this is actually really important for us because usually we have a bunch of shows throughout the year but this is the first one that we've um, been able to have um, in our gallery space so it's so um, exciting to see everybody here looking at the beautiful artwork that our students have made throughout the entire year and if you're not able to make it tonight you should definitely come and check it out it'll be up through the end of the school year my piece here um, it was really challenging trying to find different materials to use um, I really wanted to think outside of the box for all of this um, and it was uh, my first instinct was to find different materials around the classroom and eventually I went with different types of caps, marker caps, bottle caps, whatever cap I could find lying around. I, uh, I used it and it turned out, I think it turned out really nice. Uh, these are some pieces from my AP portfolio. I had an, a portfolio that was an exploration of place and time where I experimented with color, exposure, texture, transparency, transpar transparency and other types of forms that pertain to photography in order to explore place and time. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I made this self-portrait in like the middle-ish of the year and it took, it took too long because it, it's, really, it's really weird to try to draw your own face. 
when you look at it so often because I have like an idea of what it looks like in my brain, but it's, it's not at all what it looks like. And trying to make that is really difficult. So yeah, it was a process, but I like it. So this is one of my favorite pieces that I got to include in this art show. I sent it in um, for my APE art portfolio. Um, which goes to get reviewed by um, the people who work at AP Art. So we had to have a, for our portfolio, we had to have a question that guided our work. So my question was, how do dreams warp our perception of reality? So I wanted to do a super realistic portrait, but um, had some sense that was surreal or warped to it. So I just uh, drew me stretching my face and I tried my best to make it as realistic as possible. So I'm pretty proud that it's in the show. And this is my artwork. Um, I wanted to do something because I got COVID for a few weeks and I missed so many important things that happened in my life with my friends and family. And so I made one bouquet of my of my of the favorite flowers of each and every one of my the people that I missed. One for my friend Salem, who I missed their ASM play. One for my mom for Mother's Day, and one for my aunt, who recently got her PhD. And I made their favorite flowers. I love art. Um, I love all this art. Look at this beautiful art that my friend Salem made. They're right next to me. Um, look at all the teeth and the holes. It's amazing. Um, I'm not very proud of my art, but I like all the other art that's here. Y'all did a great job. After taking a look at the visual art, the audience was directed to the auditorium to experience performances from music, both instrumental and vocal, theater, and dance students. Here's some of what was performed. <laughs> with award ceremonies, with categories for student of the year for each art department, and a final category for Spirit of Sun Arts, with visual arts student nominee Eden Rodriguez winning. All in all, Word on the Street was a beautiful and successful performance. Wow, that was great, don't you think? Absolutely. Do you want to hear a joke? Sure. What do you got? What happened when two artists entered an art contest? What? It ended in a draw. Wow, sounds like you should have been at Word on the Street. <laughs> I know, right? Thanks. But speaking of words, let's turn it over to Pablo's Love Poetry Corner, where he'll be sure to knock you off your feet. Take it away, Mr. Love. Hello, my name is Paul Art, aka Pablo Love. I got one for poem to share. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's called Experiment. Here it goes. The body is the temple, the temple is the body rebuilding and reshaping as we drift into an unfinished canvas. Known as the universe, no man will include it. If so, how will you learn from mistakes? Mistakes to become chimes. To push you forward to continue. Continue living your truth. Truth constantly evolving. Reventing yourself. Reventing yourself in what is your own reputation. Interpretation. Live in a moment with the awareness that your strong beauty radiates with one word. Embrace the spirits. Remember to live, remember to love, and remember to share. Pop a love, spread the love, spread the passion. Have a nice day. And see you soon. 
Wow, poetry always does something to my heart. I know, right? Pablo Love sure does seem to have a way with his words. Do you know who else has a way with words? Who? Our person on the street crew, Sebastian Arroda, Brianna Gomez, and Yaneli Sacundino. Oh, that's right. I wonder what the students had to say this time. Hmm. But anyways, what are you doing for the summer? Hmm, honestly, I'm going to be super busy with college stuff. Ugh, boring. I know the Bulldogs are tired of all this school talk. Instead, let's take a look at what fun plans SEN students have over the summer. Maybe it'll spark up some fun inspiration for you. What do you mean? College planning is so much fun. And take it away, Bulldogs. <laughs> This summer, I think I'm mostly gonna spend time with my friends, go to Six Flags, and like have picnics and everything. I have like a bucket list that I'm gonna like try to like do everything on there. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So, what are your plans for this summer? Uh, yeah. So, I intend to start a um, marketing a job um, in the automotive sales. All right. Uh, anything else? Uh, besides that, I'm just trying to like enjoy life right now. I'm finally out of high school. Uh, glad we will have a lot more free time on my hands um, and just wondering where uh, life will take me. All right, congratulations. Thank you so much. My plans for the summer, I mean, I got a couple, but I plan on playing soccer a lot because I'm going to play soccer in college like next year. And then also I plan on like being disciplined like outside. I'm trying to avoid trouble. Yeah. That's good though. Where do you plan on going to college? I'm going to Black Bank College. It's like four hours away from here. That's really cool though, thank you. Um, I have an internship that I am looking forward to and then I'm also going to be running. Alright, any uh, any other plans like going to the beach, hanging out with friends? Um, yeah, hanging out with friends and uh, go bowling with a couple of my friends and, and hopefully uh, my senior buddies too before we head off to college. I would like to gather up with them and leave. Alright, good luck. Thank you. Over the summer, I'm going to get my realtor's license. I'm going to get a broker's license. I'm going to get classes. Uh, I'm going to learn botany So I, because I, over the summer, I'm going to Costa Rica for my UIC. I got accepted to a USA program for study abroad. So we're going to Costa Rica. So I want to be safe. So I'm going to take some botany classes and then real estate. And then I'm going to start my first business, which is going to be a t-shirt business. Yeah, that's my Well, plan. good luck. Thank you very much. What are your plans for the summer? Plan on staying local around the neighborhood of Sun. Uh, looking forward to lots of good times with my friends and family and going to the beach, like um, Hollywood Beach and Montrose Beach. Well, that sounds like fun. I love going to the beach. Yeah, who doesn't? It's always a good time. So that's what I'm looking forward to relaxing and recharging the batteries for next year. What are your plans for the summer? Uh, I'm gonna sleep and draw. <laughs> Just sleep all day? Most likely, and I'll try to look for a job too. So. All right. What about college? Any plans for that? Uh, yeah, that's in the not summer, but fall. So yeah. Um, this summer, I'm gonna be working a lot, and I'm also gonna be moving um, houses as well as um, packing for college, and just spending a lot of time with um, my friends and family before I leave to college. All right. Thank you. Uh, first off, getting ready for college, obviously, but more importantly, saying goodbye to a lot of my friends, partying just a little bit, and obviously being at my job, because got to make money somehow, right? Yeah. All right. Have a good one. You too. What are your plans for summer? Um, this summer, I plan, honestly, to just work as much as I can. I, honestly, I was just saying, like, I'm going to work like I got two kids, to be honest, because I just want to save up money. Um, I'm looking forward to getting a car, and honestly, I'm just looking forward to having as much money as I can going into college. So, yeah. What kind of car are you looking into? Um, right now I'm looking like at Volk at a Volkswagen, like it's a Jetta, it's like it's a 04, but I mean like there's a lot of different options. <laughs> uh, yeah. That all sounds like fun. It does. The summer is definitely going to be a fun one. I agree, but with fun comes dancing. You think so? Duh. Who doesn't love to dance and have a good time? Maybe we should ask our send dancers. You're right. What's up with them anyway? All the fun stuff. The Sand Dancers had another showcase and this was their final one of the year. Let's check out what went down. Hello, it's me, Alicia, here today talking about Replicate, which took place at Sand Hall and how it was very entertaining to watch since it was one of the last dances of the year. The dancers were really entertaining, showing off many different dances and how many of them were very impactful and strong. So let's take a look at some of them.
amazing. The sand dancers know how to pull off a performance every time. What's another dance environment you can think of? Mm, a party, a ball, a banquet? Yes, a banquet. How about since IB banquet? You're right. Recently, an IB banquet was held for the seniors as well as the new coming IB career program students. The banquet was held in celebration of IB students and all of their hard work this past year. Let's take a look at how the event went. Journey through set. And now in the 2021-22 school year, we are excited the to- The IB banquet took class. place on May 25th at Loyola's Damon Student, Student Center from 5.30 to 7.30. So I want to congratulate you for finishing your first year of high school and Freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. It was an event to not only celebrate each other, but also the staff involved. Congratulations to seniors for graduating and completing the IBDP program. And congratulations to everyone else for making it through the school year. Congratulations to all of our IB students. We recognize everyone's accomplishments and applaud you all. That is correct. Hey. This is really off topic, but have you ever heard of a guy named Guy Fieri? Joseph Byron? No, Guy Fieri, the famous chef who goes around judging food all the time. Yeah, I guess you could say Joseph is son's Guy Fieri. What are you talking about? Less talking, more about watching. Take it away, Sen Fieri. Sen Fieri! <laughs> hey yo, folks. Today we're here in the gorgeous Lakeside neighborhood, Rogers Park, adjacent to Loyola University in front of Bob and Grill. When most people graduate from culinary school, the dream is not to open a fast food zone. But that's exactly what working class Asian American Will Song did when he graduated culinary school in 2008. This has coalesced to the house of worship for deliciousness that we stand in front of today in the very same spot that Guy Fieri did not long but 10 years ago. Let's head inside. <laughs> Well, we're here. I'm in here. I wasn't expecting to get this, but I saw it, and I like milk. Flavor Town. Um, that was that was um about five out of ten. That was pretty good. Um, uh, not enough milk. Oh, it's like a. It's like a community pool of flavor over here. Look at that. Yum yums in my tum tums. The bun is wet. The bottom bun is wet. Right, let's take a bite. Oh my god. That's a good beefy burger. Where am I? Help! Damn, I was like a blast of flavor town in my bomb.com. Help! Next item. Let me wash that down. Hold on, actually. The apple milkies taste like I'm back at my mother's house. Cabin in the woods, she's coddling me by the fire and saying she loves me and I'm loving it. I'm sorry guys, that burger was too good. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. Okay. Check out these chihuahuas, El Papo. 
you go in. Like Abdul Jabbar. It's game point. He shoots. He scores. I don't know about no South Sider phone now, but this is gangster. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. You got a good fry fry. I'll kick your mama butt. That's for the show show. I still don't know where I am. Who took me here? Stupid. Gary, what are you doing? The phone. Holy moly. My big booty strong bowler. I'm ready again. Shut the front door. Both dog. You gotta clean yourself up here. A mess. This is why she left you. Barry, you always smell like taco grease. Uh no kiss. I love you, Fiery. I will never leave you inside. Oh, Melkis. I have some, uh, some self-work to do. But I'll see you guys on the next diner drive-ins and, uh, some dives. Sick of I told you. Not gonna lie, that was hilarious. That burger looked so good. I think him and Guy Fieri should collaborate. You might not be wrong, but who doesn't like something as amazing as food? Definitely not me. Coming from me, I think cultural food is some of the best, which is why we should tell everyone about our latest luncheon. I agree. About a week ago, Sen hosted a luncheon called A Taste of Africa. and consisted of a bunch of different cultural Ameri African foods that many students were able to enjoy. Let's take a look at the delicious food. On Friday, May 27, 2022, the Motherland Initiative Club had a fundraiser called Taste of Africa, where they showcased different food from different cultures in Africa to raise money for the club. They had different foods like samosa, brofold, buff jello fries, plantain, white rice, and many more. Some of the members even wore their cultural clothing to bring the event all together. The Afro dance members also had a performance for people who came to eat the food and enjoy their culture with them. In the end, the event was a huge success and the club members were able to show all their talent and share their food with members of the staff. Now I'm hungry. What time is it? I don't know, but sitting here sure is making me build up an appetite. Same. But other than food, what's something else that you like? Mmm, music, reading, writing, sports. That's cool. What about fashion? Fashion's dope. It's a great way to express yourself. Would you say Sen is filled with expression? <laughs> Definitely. Walking down the halls every day is like a fashion show. Let's see what fashionable outfits our Sen TV crew were able to capture for this episode. Fit check! Kathy, tell us about your outfit. Um, my jeans, I think they're from Discovery, my shirt's from Shein, the jacket's from Ross, my shoes are from Foot Locker. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Really cute. So Sydney, tell us about your outfit today. You know, I have on this shirt from Zara, these pants from Fashion Nova, shoes from Converse, and watch from Apple. Amazing, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> okay. Good? Okay, I'm here with... Gisela. I'm Drew. Uh, can you guys tell us where your outfits are from or whatever inspired? These are from the thrift store. This is from Old Navy. This is from Ross. And this is also from the thrift store. Um, this is from the Converse website. This is my boyfriend's. I stole it. These are from uh, Village Discount. And these are from my grandma. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Nice, I'm here with Yahira. Yahira, tell us about your outfit today. So today I played it casual and I'm just wearing a shirt from Tilly's. Uh, my pants are from Tilly's too and my shoes, Fly Club. 
Turn around. Give us a little spin. Shaka pose. Okay, okay. I love it. Hi, I'm here with Belma. So Belma, tell us about your outfit today. So my outfit is, well my shoes are from Vans, these is from Hollister, this is from Hollister, and this is from H&M. Um, what inspired my outfit, honestly, I was just trying to like color coordinate it, I guess I would say. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Thank you. Spin. <laughs> okay. I'm here with Naya. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your outfit? Yeah, okay, so I felt very creative today with my flag, because it's Pride Month, so yeah. It's my lemon pepper stubbers, you know, my lemon pepper stubbers, they real big. Then, you know, just a casual fit, you know, casual, hoodie. Hold on. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. okay, I'm here with um, Viviana. Can you tell us a little bit about your outfit? Um, so I got this shirt from JC Penny, I think. Uh, these pants from Forever 21. Um, and then these boots are Timberland, Timberlands. And yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Outfit. So, where I got it from? Yeah. Okay, so I know the shoes, they were from StockX. The, the socks, uh, Foot Locker. The pants, um, Forever 21, and this, I don't know, this is my brother's shirt. Oh, okay. so. That's good, bro. Thank you. Uh, hey guys, I'm with Jonas. Uh, Lydia. And can you tell me about your outfit? Uh, well, to be honest, I kind of like to blend a lot of different uh, styles, I guess. Um, so I would say these pants are... Uh, I don't, I don't really know what I would categorize them as, but my friend uh, gave them to me, and apparently his friend like, did these designs. Um, and then uh, the shoes he also gave to me, um, and they are they're like a, it's supposed to be a cheetah print, but you can't really see it because I wore them to a show, and they got really uh, messy. And then this flannel uh, I got from my grandpa. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I also just like, for some reason, I, I really don't know why, but I don't know. That's cool. I don't know. I just kind of put the outfit together. It just was the camo and then this, and this is my mom's. And so I just put it all together and was like, okay, it works. You said good night. Thank you. Yeah. Do you guys do like a phone? I don't think our fit checks will ever get boring. Agreed. Neither will our athletes. Let's turn our attention to Sen's greatest track star, Tedros Mekonen, and honor all of his hard work as a senior. Take it away. Tedros Mekonen, a former senior and track runner at Sen High School, made it to state for the second time this year. Coming first place in the boys sectionals on May 19, 2022, we asked him how we felt about making state. Oh, I feel great. It was, it was amazing to make state because um, it showed all the hard work that we have put into uh, the season. And so for it to, you know, show off, for, for me to uh, go to state means a lot because it shows that all my hard work pays off. And I am thankful for my coaches that put uh, like good structures and, and good workouts for me to be able to get there. So I really appreciate uh, that team. I will be running track and cross country at Illinois State to the Division One school and I look forward to uh, working with the fast runners that, that will get me better. Sense athletes are amazing. They're some of the best out there and the hardest workers ever, don't you think? Of course, and might I say stay tuned for season eight because girls volleyball is going to knock everyone off their feet. The seniors definitely knocked everyone off their feet with their amazing achievements going into their post high school life. Several seniors got awards for things like their crazy scholarships. Some were fun and some were serious, but let's hand it off to the class of 2022 for our last segment and congratulate them for all of their hard work. Go seniors! On May 25th, all of the seniors gathered in Sen Hall to receive their senior awards congratulating all the seniors for their many achievements throughout the school year. It started off with a pledge sung by seniors, followed by a few encouraging words from Ms. Miller. and the challenges, all of the challenges 
to this moment. We celebrate your endurance, your diligence, and your capacity to be great. Welcome, and we celebrate each and every one of So how do y'all feel about the awards that you all won? Um, I'm happy. I'm just happy and excited, yeah. Oh, I'm blessed to get this uh, award just because I, I, it shows that my hard work has paid off. What are your plans after graduation? Um, I'm going to UIC. Um, I'm still undecided, but yeah. Oh, that's amazing. And then you? I will be heading to ISU where I will be uh, running for them. Most likely to be the star of their own reality. Yeah. And what award did you receive? I won a top scholarship earner um, award. And how do you feel? I feel very um, proud of myself for my award. I, I'm confident in my work and what I've done for the last four years and it's showing within this award. And what are your plans for next year? Um, I've been accepted into LSU's theater program, so I will be continuing my four years at LSU on a scholarship. Congratulations. Thank you. Can you tell me just a little bit about the performance? So we played the song Everlong by the Foo Fighters, and uh, so far we've just been kind of like almost bringing it on tour in a way. It was really fun to play on stage. And including in front of a large group of people like these graduates. Like, I honestly feel um, proud for those guys. Congratulations. It was definitely nerve-wracking performing in front of everybody, but I enjoyed it overall. It was pretty nice. It's sad to see them go, but everyone is so proud of them and so excited to see where they would go next. They'll go very far, just like Sun TV will. Season 8 is going to be crazy. We're going to rule this show. You got that right. We hope everyone is just as excited as we are. We can't wait to blow everyone away with our talent, and the class of 2023 is where it's at. Until, Until next year when this is our show. show. What <laughs> month is it? It's June. You know what that means? It's June. You know what that means? It'll help. It's June. It's <laughs> June. <laughs> I'm terrible at volleyball. I know what that means. All right. Yes. I look like a bug with these. Just uh. Should I leave these on my head? Just two. Yeah. yeah. yeah let's <laughs> We'll, add, we'll start with just those, and then we'll add okay. these on your head. Okay, yeah. Okay. We'll just do those. These a different segment. We'll switch them. What? Huh? Like, oh, yeah. no, I would say put, put these on now, <laughs> and then so we'll put bad. these. Add these to your head. It's so okay. bad. <laughs> you guys are you back on this. That was amazing. The sand dancers know how to pull off a performance every time. What's another dance environment you can think of? <laughs> <laughs> a, ball, a banquet? <laughs> yes, a banquet. How about some IB banquet? You're right. Recently, an IB banquet was held for the seniors as well as the new coming IB career program students. The banquet was held in the celebration of IB students. Don't know where that went. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, Abby. Nobody will even recognize you. What are you embarrassed about? <clears throat> yeah, until they see the beginning. <laughs> 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 <laughs>